five, four, three, two, one. There haven't been any blue quail in the rolling plains of Texas at the bottom of the panhandle for years. That's why wildlife biologists recently released 88 wild-caught blue quail at the Matador Wildlife Management Area. Some of the birds were released immediately, and others were placed in these pens for 30 days to acclimate and protect them before release. So we've been trapping wild birds out in the San Angelo area and moving those here and testing two release styles to see which one, if either, is going to be an effective way of restoring blue quail to this country. Students from Paducah High School were on hand and learned about the perils the tiny birds face. If you're a quail, you stand six inches tall and you weigh six ounces. You got a lot of enemies and they all like to eat quail. 39 of the birds were outfitted with tiny radio collars so their movements can be tracked. The birds were released at three different locations at the Matador because of the prime wildlife habitat here and the area has supported blue quail before. Birds were also released on suitable habitat on private land. Two, one, lift off. The decline of quail in Texas and across the nation has perplexed hunters and scientists for years. Research is underway on a number of fronts to determine strategies to reverse the decline. Can we jumpstart the situation? And that's what we're trying to do with these translocations. We've done it with turkeys, we've done it with deer, over, and we had some great success stories. Never had a great success story with quail. It's never really been tried in West Texas, so that's what we're doing. There we go. Texas Parks and Wildlife biologists will be monitoring the birds closely. We'll try to keep tabs on them to see, are they staying on the area? Um, are they leaving the area? Where are they moving? And then also survival. Yeah, she is alive. So this is where we're gonna mark her? Yeah. I think it's really good. Uh, the blue quail number is down and I'm glad to see people are making an effort to bring it up. I would pick this over school any day. We're just really excited to be part of it. You know, this is the beginning stages and so it's kind of, you know, phase one pilot stage and to be a part of that's pretty neat and we'll see where it goes in the future. Lift up. For Texas Parks and Wildlife Foundation, this is Lydia Saldana reporting.